Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here to show you how to make some mini flying geese quilt blocks. This is the no waste method, no snowballing. I have a previous video that I will link to down below in the description box. If you can't find that, tap on the title under my video and it will pop open. And in that video, they were bigger. We used, I believe, a seven and a half inch large square and then four, four inch squares. Well, for this one, I wanted to use some two inch squares because I sell a lot of those and I love to cut them. And I think the basic formula that you can use for this is whatever small squares you're using. I'm using two inch. Two plus two is four. Take off a half inch. That's three and a half. That's the size you need for your larger square. And that's perfect because I sell a lot of three and a half inch squares too. So for those of you who have been collecting my two inch and three and a half inch squares, you can make some scrappy mini flying geese. Let's get started. Do go watch the first video. I explain more there. I did my diagonal line already on my two inch squares. I'm going to put one up here in this corner, right sides together, diagonal line going this way, and then I'm going to put another one here. It doesn't matter what you use for the line because um, you are going to be uh, cutting on that line, so it's not going to show. So I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch on each side of the line. And I'm going to cut on the line. And then you flip these guys back. Look how little. I just finger pressed. Now I am going to take another two inch square and the diagonal line is going this way now, like this. And I find that it's easier to jump on the pointed side for the first line of stitching. It holds in place better. So I'm just doing a quarter of an inch on this, uh, the right side of that line. I will send this one through also. And then for the second line of stitching, it doesn't matter. You can go this way. This is held in place now. Or you can, um, if you don't mind sewing to the left of the line, you can do that. how we just cut on those lines fold that back and we're done let me go um, press them all they came out so cute I was able to uh, trim these to one and a half by two and a half aren't they sweet little mini flying geese now you don't need to be making an entire quilt with this, but you can sew some together to create quilt blocks of various sizes and use them in a quilt. All right, I'm going to um, show you just a couple of pictures now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like our little mini flying geese. I'll be back with more soon. Bye. <laughs>